Mr. Kyle. Welcome to the Science Lab. Now, I know that we've gone online, but we're still going to do Science Lab every week. We're going to be giving you a lesson every week, something cool about science, and we're either going to demonstrate the experiment, and we're going to try and keep it to pretty simple stuff that maybe you can try at home. Right, Mr. Kyle? That's right. Yeah. And when we're safe enough to partially open up again, we will stay online and do the live lessons. So you'll still get us, whether you come in or you're staying at home. Of course, we're most looking forward to when you come back to the classroom, everybody together. We miss you so much. We have a lot of new cleaning guidelines to help keep everyone safe. We are going to go over that more in detail with the front office when they release some information for you guys. We're putting the classroom back together for fall. And some of the animals hung out here this summer. Some of the animals went home with families, which we are thankful for because they got lots of love and attention and stimulation. And some of them escaped and I spent all summer chasing them around. <laughs> Over here in our insect and arachnid corner, we have Steve and Rosie, our tarantulas, our roaches as always, and we have a new friend, a desert hairy. He's a little crazy. Aren't you, Harry? I've been working with Steve. He's getting a little friendlier. Maybe when you come to visit, you can visit with Steve and I. The bees have been super busy all summer. They have two whole panels of honey that we're going to try to remove to share with you guys before you come back this year. They're looking a little dirty with all their wax on the glass. Looks like we need to do some beekeeping. Oh yeah. Suit up. We still have all the frogs. You don't understand, this is very exciting. Frogs are very sensitive to changes in their environment. And if the chemicals or the temperature or humidity gets a little off, they start dropping really fast. So to keep these guys a full two years, I think we finally got it down. Yes! Over here we have all of our snakes. Here's Gunther, our corn snake, who has grown a lot this year. Our ball python, Lucille, who still hasn't eaten very much this summer, but we talked to a very good uh, snake handler friend of ours, and he said that's normal for ball pythons her age, which is almost eight years old now. And then our king snake is getting ready to shed. He has been eating all year very well. We got two new water dragons. This is Bill and his buddy Ted back there. Say welcome to the lab, guys. Mr. Hermit Crab, still rocking the mountain. This is our new Schneider skink. His name is Pixel. Ginger, our blue drunk skink, is still with us, and she has been in the lab the longest of any animal we have. Just about 20 years now. Yeah. We still have Blaze, who's grown a lot this summer, and Blue over here, who is also doing very well. Wave. We got the ferrets back from the Golden family. Thanks, Goldens. They really need some love and play over the summer. Oscar has gotten fit and lost a little weight, and... Miss Coco isn't fighting as much. <laughs> Our chinchillas came back from the Mercure, so thank you, Mercure family, for doing such a good job of taking care of our two boys and our two girl chinchillas. Is that enough chinchillas, Mr. Kyle? That's enough chinchillas. Four is enough. Yeah? Yeah. No more? No. Maybe one less. All the bunnies are back in the lab. Ray has gotten a little less shy. Thanks, Verena. 
Moss has grown some crazy hair. Thanks, Gwen, for such a good job grooming her all summer long. Charlotte, Bella, and Owen had the bunnies and the guinea pigs. Well, they had Chewy. They took such good care of Chewy. Chewy's always loved people, and he came back to the lab super interested in talking to us and getting to know his friends, the other bunnies, again. Liz the Iguana is still with us, and hopefully she's nice enough now that we can start taking her out and letting her adventure around the lab with us. I don't know, Mr. Kyle. She's kind of crazy. No, she's a nice iguana, aren't you, Liz? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have gloves. We'll work on it. We had a new baby hedgehog this summer. She's about two months old at this time, and she doesn't have a name, so we need one. Maybe leave a comment? Let us know what you guys think. Oh, yeah. We still have James the Rat, and he spends all his time working at How to Escape. First it was here, and we had to patch here, and then we had to make a big mess over here. And then here. And then, then finally here. we had to put on this sheet to cover the whole thing over here. And then we had to put wood on top. And then we had to add rocks. Ha! Till tomorrow when there's a rematch. Dun, dun, dun! but we'll have them stocked in again by the time you get back in person. We did keep the mice going and we've still been having a few litters. So by the time we're ready to start Animal Club, we'll have some mice ready to go. Well, that was it guys. We look forward to seeing you all very soon. Each week we're gonna do a little lesson and you'll have a little bit of feedback us maybe a little assignment. Today, don't forget to do the Google Forms to send your parents' email in to us. We'll see you next week. Bye! Bye.